Welcome back to the Dinosaur Channel. Ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, Tall, and this is your home on the internet for all things dinosaur and prehistoric. Today, we're going to be covering an episode of Quick Dive on the Camarasaurus. <coughs> Or the Camarasaurus, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. But before we do, I want to remind you guys to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single video because we are covering all the dinosaurs and prehistoric creatures from the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World movie franchise. Also, please leave us a dinosaur size thumbs up on the video and comment down below a dinosaur or prehistoric creature you would like to see us talk about in the future. And let's jump right into the massive sauropodal Camarasaurus. So what does Camarasaurus mean? Well, it means chambered lizard. Pretty easy. It's a pretty easy one. And where and when did the Camarasaurus or Camarasaurus live? It lived in North America about 155 to 145 million years ago in the late Jurassic Epoch. All the fossils from this dinosaur were found so far in North America in the Morrison Formation of Colorado and Utah. So we know pretty much the range that it existed in. What did the Camarasaurus look like? This is probably the most interesting and cool part of this video. Camarasaurus is amongst one of the most well understood and well preserved and you know most plentiful found fossils of dinosaurs in the universe. These guys could go anywhere from 49 feet to 75 feet long. So this thing was huge. It weighed 50 plus tons and it was a huge, huge sauropod, which essentially, if you don't know what a sauropod is, sauropod is a sort of long neck dinosaur, similar to the Brachiosaurus. And lots of them had different formats. Some of them were standing with their like, uh, you know, necks all the way up. Some of them with their necks sideways. But yes, the Camarasaurus was a sauropod, part of that awesome family my favorite group of dinosaurs. So it got that name Chambered Lizard because of the awesome features that it had its neck, but we'll talk about that a little bit later in the diet and behavior part of it. But that's kind of the main bulk and I guess the greatest feature of this dinosaur was that giant neck and it was chambered. So how did the Camarasaurus get famous? It's not really a super famous dinosaur to be honest with you. Uh, I say famous because it's kind of well known about, but it's not really a famous dinosaur. The average person on the street probably wouldn't really know what a Camarasaurus is alternatively to like a T-Rex or a Triceratops. It's not really a popular dinosaur. It's been featured very briefly in some video games and books and stuff like that. And Jurassic World Evolution probably has the best modern day depiction of one of those dinosaurs in like a real 3D sense. We've never seen it in any of the Jurassic World movies or Jurassic Park movies, so we really don't have it there. Let's jump into the diet and behavior of the Camarasaurus. So these were herbivores, obviously. They are sauropods pods and all sauropods we know about so far have been herbivores. It'd be really weird if there was a carnivorous sauropod. That would be a really strange phenomenon. And we know these things ate high branching plants, things that were up in the sky, up high, tall trees because it had such a long neck. It could reach up really, really high and eat whatever it wanted from the top of the trees. Also things that have been found from the Camarasaurus are eggs. And eggs of the Camarasaurus have been found to be lined up in lines rather than in neatly arranged nests, which lets us know and believe that these animals did not tend to their young whatsoever. They probably just pooped out a bunch of eggs and let them survive, which is the case I think with most sauropods. We also know according to the diet of the Camarasaurus that it swallowed gastroliths to help digest the food in its belly. If you don't know what a gastrolith is, it's basically giant rocks that these giant dinosaurs would consume to help them grind up plant matter in their stomach. And as well, as we mentioned earlier, the Camarasaurus had chambers all across its neck. Now this is a feature that's believed to be in some other sauropods besides Camarasaurus, but this is sort of well-documented within the Camarasaurus and the reason it gets its name. These chambers are sort of like air sacs that were built alongside its body and mostly in its neck to help it lift up the giant weight of its neck and sort of the rest of its body. These dinosaurs were massive, things that don't exist nowadays and I don't really think we can fathom. So so it's very, very easy to believe that these things might have had to have air sacs to help them lift up the giant weight in their necks. And that's where the name Camarasaurus comes from. And that's the end of our Camarasaurus episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode all about the Camarasaurus. I love this dinosaur. I love all sauropods. I got space in my heart for all of them. They're all awesome. And I hope you guys like the Camarasaurus too. And if you do, leave us a dinosaur size thumbs up and comment down below a dinosaur or prehistoric creature that you would like to see us cover in the future. As well, if you want to support this channel, you can by sending us some money down below in our PayPal description. It will be in the description, not our PayPal description. A link is in the description. And make sure you're subscribing with those notifications turned on so you don't miss a single video dinosaur quick dive because we're covering all the dinosaurs and prehistoric creatures from the Jurassic World and Jurassic Park universe. And we will see you guys on the next episode where we cover the Jiraiya I'll see you there. Oh, goodbye.